Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. All black people ain't your people. That's right. You think you're the only black race on this planet? We're not. So when when the historians of the world say, well, your own people sold you into slavery. No, that's not true. That's not true. Africans sold Israelites into slavery. Not one race of people is in the land of Africa. There's multiple nations in the land of Africa. In fact, there's over 400 countries, if, I, if I'm correct, in the land of Africa alone. So what nation in Africa do you belong to? So don't worry about language, okay? So the Bible hasn't been tampered with. It was translated by the will of God. You understand? So, read that. Romans chapter 9 verse 4. Who are Israelites? Uh -huh. So Paul is speaking about Israel. Matter of fact, start at verse 3. Verse 3. For I could wish that myself were accursed with, from Christ. So Christ, I mean Paul said he wished that himself was accursed from Christ. Meaning what? He, under, he wished that he could die himself for the nation it's gonna say it. I don't want to uh, jump to the jump the gun. Read. For for I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ, for my brethren, for his brethren. Read. My, my kinsmen. His kinsmen. You know what a kinsman is? You ever heard of? Hey man, that's my kin. You ever heard that saying before? My kinfolk. Right. What that mean? family member that's what I'm looking for a family member somebody that's related to you notice he said my brethren my kinsmen so he's talking about a bloodline read according to the flesh according to what according to the flesh according to the spirit according to the flesh so it's a physical thing you understand it's a bloodline thing it's a race thing that's what he's saying come on who are Israelites what who are Israelites now Listen, listen up. He identifies the race. He identifies the brethren and the kinsmen that is according to the flesh. They are Israelites. Read. To whom pertaineth the adoption? You know what the word pertain means? Pertain. If I say that box of lighters pertain to you, what does that mean? Belongs to you. So to the Israelites, hey, sis, sis. Hey, how you doing, sister? How you doing? What's your name? Ashley, I'm Judah, okay? Have you ever heard this information before? No. no? Okay, so what we out here teaching is that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, they are the Israelites according to the Bible. You're going to be right back, for real? Yeah, you actually leave me your stuff. You is going to come back. Uh, I'm sorry. So what we're teaching is that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the Israelites according to the Bible. You ever heard of an Israelite before? Or Israel? What's that? Or who is it? Okay, it's another race. Do you know anything about the Bible? Any history about the Bible? Or... Okay. We was forced to know the Bible? Okay. So, that's. I like that you said that because I just went over something like that with the brother right there. About what we was forced to know, right? So, let me show you something. Come take a look at this sign. What's being depicted in this sign right here? Slavery, right? It's slavery. Who did that to us, by the way? Ourselves. So we put ourselves into slavery? That was our, our people doing that to our people? Guess what? That's not true. It's not true. Black people sold black people to slavery. But guess what? All black people ain't your people. That's right. You think you're the only black race on this planet? We're not. So when when the historians of the world say, well, your own people sold you into slavery. No, that's not true. That's not true. Africans sold Israelites into slavery. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Because a lot of our people like to claim descent from Africans, right? Or from Africa, right? 
because we do come from Africa, but all, huh? We got the Bible dictionary. Uh huh. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something. So a lot of our people, we all try to claim descent from Africa, right? And we do descend from Africa, but Africa is an entire continent. Not one race of people is in the land of Africa. There's multiple nations in the land of Africa. In fact, there's over 400 countries, if I if I'm correct in the land of Africa alone. So what nation in Africa do you belong to? Let me show you something. I'm gonna show you what white people know. I'm gonna show you what the scholars know. Watch this, read that. This is the Zondervan Comeback Bible Dictionary, page 213. So here is a Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. This was written by scholars who have dedicated their lives to studying the Bible and every intricate piece of the Bible, the lands and the uh, different nations that is mentioned in the Bible, the different cultures of people that's in the Bible. They went through everything. And let's see what these scholars have discovered. Bring it up. Watch this. Ham, the youngest son of Noah. You ever heard of the flood? When God flooded the earth because of the wickedness of man? When he God flooded the earth, he saved eight people. Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives. That's a total of eight people. We're about to read about one of Noah's sons. So after that flood and all the waters dried up, through, the, through those three sons and their wives, God used them to repopulate the earth. Okay? So watch this. Born probably about 96 years before the flood and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the, the progenitor. You know what the word progenitor means? It means forefather or um, somebody that progenit, pro, that has offspring, that has children. Exactly. He is the forefather or the producer of what? Progenitor of the dark races the black races that people call today when people go around and say black people or they say black people sold black people into slavery or a dark race sold another dark race into slavery this is what they're talking about but they didn't tell you what race they didn't say what black people watch this i'm gonna show you something not the negro Read that part from the top he became the progenitor of the so ham he became the forefather or the father of the dark nations of the earth today. Read. Of the dark races. Uh -huh. Not the Negroes. Not the Negro. Who are the Negroes? What dark race is called the Negroes today? You don't know? What? Us, right? I know you know that. Negroes. They call us. We were Negroes, right? But it said that Ham was the father of all those dark nations, but this one dark nation, he did not become the, he would, he did not father them. So they know where you come from and they know where the other dark nations come from. Watch this, read. But the Egyptians, the who? The Egyptians. The Egyptians who are what? Where? Which is where? Uh-huh. You don't know where Egypt is located? On the land of Africa, right? Africans. Negroes are not African. So when they say black people sold black people into slavery, yeah, they're right. But Negroes did not sell Negroes into slavery. Africans, or the children of Ham, sold Israelites into slavery. Give me the definition of ruddy. Ruddy. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you another dark race that Ham is not the father of. I'm going to show you another dark race. I bet you've never heard this before. Read. Page 510. Ruddy. A word used to refer to a red or fair complexion. So ruddy is a word that is used to refer to a people that is red or so-called fair complexion. That would sound like white people today, right? But what does it really mean? Come on. In contrast. In what? In contrast. In contrast, meaning what? It was used to refer to red people or white people in contrary or to go against or to fight against. Read. To the dark skin. What? 
the dark skin or the dark race of the Hebrew. Who? Of the Hebrews. So what color are the Hebrews? Dark. Yes. Dark. Dark. But who are the Hebrews? The Negroes. They're telling you who the Negro is in the book. That's right. Bring I'm going to show you. Now, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Okay? Because you said, like you said, you mentioned, you know a little something about the Israelites, right? Israelites are Hebrews. Correct? Abraham was a Hebrew. Isaac was a Hebrew. Jacob was a Hebrew. And he had 12 sons. And his name was changed to Israel. And they became the Israelites or the children of Israel. Correct? So this is what God said about the children of Israel. Read verse 1 and 1 first so we can see that. Matter of fact, 27 and 1. Because it's close. Deuteronomy chapter 27 and verse 1. And Moses with the elders of Israel. The who? The elders of Israel. So you have Moses with the elders or the chief men, the aged men of Israel. Like today he would be considered an elder of Israel. Right? Come on. Commanded the people saying, keep all the commandments which I command you this day. And it shall be on the day when ye shall pass over Jordan unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. That thou shalt see thee of great stones and plaster them with plaster. So I went here to show you who's the audience. Moses is speaking to the nation of Israel. Now let's see what else he showed to, told the nation of Israel. Because he just told them to come to the land and he bid them to keep God's commandments, right? Watch this. Read verse 15 in Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. All of this that I went through before was a build up to this. Because remember I showed you. That Ham was the father of the dark races, but not the Negroes. But there's another dark race that exists in the earth. It just wasn't the Africans that they that he was uh, a father of, right? So it was the and we also showed you that there's a dark race that exists that is referred to the Hebrews, right? Now I'm gonna show you who the Hebrews are today. Come on. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses said to you Hebrews, which is a dark race, if you don't keep God's commandments, God is going to curse you as a nation of people. You know what a curse is? What is it? Right. It's like a it's like a it's like a plague, right? It's something evil towards your future. Correct? Like you said, something bad, right, sister? What's your name? Charlene. Nice to meet you. I'm Judah. Okay, so God said, I'm just gonna curse you, put curses on you as a nation of people. Watch this. Read verse 32. Let's read one of those curses that happened to a dark race that is also referred to the Hebrews. So now we're going to identify this people. Come on. Verse 32. And mind you, it said it shall come to pass. So this is a future prophecy from when it was spoken. Okay? So it came later down the line. Watch this. Thy sons and thy daughters. So your children, you Israelites, or you dark-skinned Hebrews, your sons and your daughters shall what? Shall be given unto another people. They shall be given or handed over to another people. What does that sound like? Slavery. Who did that happen to? Us. A dark race of people that our forefather is not of Ham. A dark race who are referred to as Hebrews, their sons and their daughters shall be given to another race of people. Come on. And thine eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long. Meaning what? We were going to weep all the day long because we could not get our children back. So although it says given, that given is referred to it being taken from us. We don't give our children away. Someone was taking our children and we could not get them back. You understand? Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. You ever seen the movie Roots? Remember that scene when the slave master had fell on hard times 
and he was trying to get this other slave master's land before he moved. I think he moves going to move to like Louisiana or something, right? Or across the country. And in order to uh, repay a debt, he had to sell one of his slave master's daughters. And she was running out the house when she had just found out that she went to grab her husband and she begged the master, please master, don't sell my daughter. Please don't sell my daughter. If you sell her, take me with her. But it says we shall have what? And there shall be no might in thine hand. Well, what did he say? There's nothing I can do. It's already done. We had no power to get our children back. We had no economic might nor military might to get our people back, to redeem our people from the conditions that we are in, right? Read on. Is that it on that? Yes, sir. Give me verse 41. So this right here is going to be more detailed of what we just read in verse 32, because it said that our children shall be given to another people, right? No, it should be, right, it shall be given to another people. What would be the condition of our children when they were handed to another people? Come on. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. For they shall go into captivity. They shall what? They shall go into captivity. So we're reading about a dark race that is called the Hebrews, whose sons and daughters were given to another nation of people to slavery. What is that? Did, and who did it happen to? Our people. We're reading about our people in the book. Why? You are the Israelites according to God. But why did this happen to us? Because of sin. Because of sin. For example, I'm going to show you one. He got a box of lighters in his hand. Who do you think he's selling that to? Us. Why? Why do what we need lighters for? To smoke. Should we be smoking? No. Hence, our condition. This is why we are not conditioned. Remember, he said, if you fail to keep my commandments, I am going to plague you as a people. And now that we smoke, you'll see some of our people leaning in the middle of the street, right? Falling out, passing out. Now the ambulance and everybody is coming, right? We see this all the time, but we still don't consider our sin. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. 